Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. I really appreciate all of your love and support. In this reading, we're going to find out who has been missing you lately and why. Today is the 18th of September 2023. Time here in Hoi An, Vietnam is 9.08 uh, p.m. <laughs> all right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me who has been missing Virgo lately and why. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person. That's you right there, magician. Ooh. And happy birthday to all the Virgos out there. And thank you for all of the uh, birthday wishes. <laughs> also a Virgo. Nine of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So you've got a fire sign right here. Knight of Wands. This person could be a um, Aries Sagittarius, Leo, strong Aries right here with the Emperor. Knight of Pentacles in love first could also be a Virgo Capricorn Taurus. This could be one person or multiple people, okay? I feel like you are the Queen of Cups because the Queen of Cups is right next to the Magician, which, you know, the Magician is a Virgo. But please bear in mind that roles can be reversed, okay? We've got the Ace of Wands right here. So this person has a heart on or it just is excited, <laughs> okay? And this is a very, um, could be quite a sexual card as well, Ace of Wands. It's a male phallic sim symbol, so you, you excite this person. This person is very passionate about you. They desire you. So I think they could be missing being intimate with you. This is somebody you've been intimate with in the past. However, we've got the Five Pentacles here. So that means maybe you and this person are separated, okay? If both of you are not separated, both of you could be going through a challenging time together right now, okay? Just take what resonates. Some of you are broken up or separated from this person and some of you could be just going through some issues or challenging times. And we've got the Two of Pentacles right here. Hmm. Oh, King of Swords and Love First. So you do have multiple people. Some of you have multiple people missing you. Unless, again, all of these caught cards and one major kana here, this Aries energy, Emperor, could be the same person, okay? Hmm. I think this person could be missing you because you could be embodying the Queen of Cups. I think they miss that kind of an understanding, the depth of understanding that it may be related to their work, related to just them, where they came from. Um, there's something about you being very empathetic, very understanding. Possibly I'm hearing ear. Maybe you've always been somebody where they would tell you a lot of things, their problems, and you would try and solve them with a magician. Hmm. Magician indicates magic too. There's something very magical about you. Either it's because you've helped them solve some issues um, or that you've, you may have um, pulled some strings for this person. Hmm. But look, the Knight of Wands, the Emperor right here, these two are fire energy. So most likely this is someone you are or were, if not now, if some of you could still be with this person, okay? If not, you could be separated. So it does feel like they do miss being intimate with you. They do miss being desired by you. 
because the magician is somebody who likes to impress as well, making you laugh. Um, your gentle, soft touch, because the Queen of Cups very gentle, very kind. And I keep hearing understanding and hear, hear, hearing. Like you understood this person, so they miss you because of that. Perhaps this person isn't doing so well right now with the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is a missing card for me as well, so they definitely, this person definitely does miss you. Unless you have multiple people here missing you at the same time, it could be because of similar reasons as well, okay? Maybe now they're alone. Look, we've got the Five Pentacles here. See, Five of Pentacles, it, you know, a lot of tarot readers read it as being left out in the cold, but this person, although it's slightly ahead of this person who is handicapped, um, although they, this person is slightly ahead of this person who is handicapped, but they're still together. They're still in this card, in this picture, right? So I feel like, Virgo, this person could be missing you going through all the tough times with them, challenging times with them. And then now two reduced to one with the um, two of pentacles here. Now they have to juggle. Now they have too much on their plate because they don't, ha they don't have help from you anymore. They don't have your support. Hmm. And four swords here is in round first, so this person hasn't been sleeping well, very restless energy. And then we've got the king of swords here in round first, but they don't want you to know, right, when swords are in round first, so something that is not clear. And for some of you, ace of wands could also be you, right, Virgo? Maybe you have had a new start, you have a new look, um... You could have had a new relationship. Anything that is new, that is catching this person's attention. And then they could be missing you, wishing that they could be the one who's having this new start with you instead. Because it feels like it bothers them about this new beginning here. Something you've embarked on lately. Let's pull out a few more cards and let's see. King of Cups, so this person does love you. But the King of Cups doesn't really like to express how he or she feels. So, so this person is suppressing his or her feelings for you. And then we've got the world here in one verse. And we've got you right here as well. Queen of Pentacles in one verse. So this is somebody that I feel you are not really giving any of your time and energy. Um, you're not invested, okay? Perhaps you did in the past, but you don't anymore. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, perhaps this person was also a Knight of Pentacles in reverse where they were possibly non-committal or, or unstable in some way, shape, or form. And if this person is embodying all of these court cards here, I do sense them kind of growing up, evolving, knowing better, because the Emperor is right here, can indicate wisdom as well, because the Emperor is older with... You know, this white beard. Let me drink some water, Virgo. I'm still recovering from my food poisoning, but way, 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 way. Much, 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 much better. So we've got the temperance here. So the temperance is a very patient energy. There's something about you, Virgo, that I feel like gives them a peace of mind. Just... Maybe just you being in their life makes them feel, or used to if you're separated, um, used to make this person feel 
calm. There's something very calm about you, even if you're pretending to be calm, <laughs> because the magician can indicate somebody who's pretending something, right? Um, pretending to be something. Or, it really depends on the surrounding cards, but what I'm seeing here is that, Virgo, you help them. I think you may have helped them believe in themselves even when they didn't believe in themselves, okay? I'm hearing motivator, so you may have motivated this person because you have this can-do attitude, right? With a magician right here because the magician has all of the suits right here. The cup, the pentacle, the wand, the sword, infinity, never ending. It's almost like you may have given this person like making this person feel as though that they could do anything, that they could be Superman, even though it's impossible. <laughs> I'm saying Superman because of the white, uh, the white, uh, sorry, not white, <laughs> um, the red cloak right here. And Superman is like magic too, right? Because Superman can fly. So there's something very magical about how you make this person feel okay so i think this person could be missing that anything is possible something about you being positive anything is possible can do attitude you gave this person a lot of confidence even though again even though they don't really like you believe in them even when they don't really believe in themselves or even when they aren't really that good or that talented <laughs> virgo you were or could be still their main motivator i think they miss that so again virgo some of me I, I feel like you're separated from this person if not you're just giving them cold shoulders or maybe there's a pause or that both of you could be going through some issues right now or that you just are not really putting in a lot of work or effort into this person right now this moment the things that you used to do for this person it feels like you don't do it for them as much or anymore okay you make them feel balanced with the temperance they feel good peaceful balanced harmonious when whenever you're with them okay or were with them if you're separated but the uh, magician right next to the Knight of Pentacles in reverse could also be this person that I feel where they could have been deceptive towards you. They may have acted because the magician is an entertainer, right? May have acted as though that they were reliable. They will always be there for you. But it didn't turn out to be that case. Sorry about that. Um, and here you are Virgo the Queen of Cups so kind so sweet so good natured mm -hmm. that I feel like maybe this person has taken advantage of you could be the same person or somebody else okay because again there are so many card cards here so there could be multiple mm -hmm. people I'm so sorry about that <clears throat> excuse me my aunt um, my aunt is my insurance agent and since I was hospitalized for food poisoning but anyway so we've got the high priestess here in my verse see this can indicate paranoia right so with the temperance right here you're like the angel they miss you your guidance you are very angelic to this person. But now they are kind of lost, okay? Five of Pentacles, kind of lost and couldn't decide. So Virgo, you may have helped this person to make a lot of decisions in their life, okay? Now they are like holding these two, pe two Pentacles here. I can't decide without Virgo because <laughs> Virgo is always there for me 
telling me the facts or telling me the truth or guiding me to making a good decision. Now you're not really in the picture. I feel like they struggle to make decisions. What they could be missing, like just you being able to, just you telling them, just giving them straight. That's what I'm hearing. Like because Virgos are detail oriented, right? So you may have given them so many details that they may have missed. What would Virgo do? What would Virgo decide, right? Hmm. And this person is stuck, right? The world here is a more verse. And they do love you, do care about you. But then, for some reason, Virgo, I see you not being really invested in this person. In this person's energy. And then the Five of Pentacles here. They feel like, okay, things are getting harder for them. It could be related to their career or life in general. But there are Pentacles here. So I feel like it could be related to their career or something that they are very passionate about. Now they are not clear, see? Two of Pentacles and the King of Swords here in one verse. Now they are not clear, they can't make any decisions without you, so they miss that part, right? Just you being able to figure things out for them. They also miss you, your excitement, that's what I'm hearing. Every time when they tell you something, tell you stories, you will really listen to this person intently and you get very excited for them. Because the magician here is like, for example, if you watch a magic show, right? Um, and you're a magician, you want to impress people. And of course, when you see your audience being really excited, it feels your confidence, right? It makes you feel good. So there's something about you feeling their confidence. And also, I keep hearing stories because magicians also can be storytellers. So whenever they tell you stories, whatever that's going on in your life or going on during the day, Whatever they tell you, you would always listen to them, have a lot of patience, and they miss that. They probably don't get that with other people, right? Hmm. This person could be a little bit stubborn um, or has a father figure who is very strict or stubborn. <laughs> Let's pull out more cards here. Let's see more Virgo. Three of Pentacles, see? Discussion. Discussion. I, I feel like you're also very intelligent, right, Virgo? So whenever they discuss with you about something, they always end up finding the solution to whatever issues they could be dealing with. It could be in life, in their career, anything. And then Eight of Cups is right here. Looks like maybe there's someone you walked away from, from collaborating with, okay? And then we've got the Page of Cups here in our verse. So maybe this person has said something very childish or immature towards you or that maybe this is someone who is not very genuine towards you at one point in time. Being... Hmm. I feel like Virgo, again, I do see how this person evolves from the page to the knight to the king to the emperor. But it's also kind of all over the place. So this person is actually a little bit chaotic right now. He saw her life is kind of chaotic. Perhaps they don't know who to be, what to decide, how to act, or how to deal with certain things in their life without you in the picture. So they miss that, okay? We've got the Nine of Wands here. They feel alone, like scared when you're not in the team. 
when you're not in your life. Some of you, this could be this could be any sort of connection, okay, by the way, but I, but I feel like for most of you, this is someone you were romantically connected to, but at least 20-30% of you, this could also be a friend or a family member, a co-worker, okay? Hmm. So yeah, this person may have been really unreliable or may have said something very immature. And then with the temperance right here, these two major, three major arcanas. I feel like these three major arcanas mean that, Virgo, you were a big part of this person's life. You gave them comfort, gave them peace. You were their motivator. You were their confidence booster. You loved them, cared about them. You were always very excited for anything new or any stories that they tell you. Anything new that they embark on or any stories that they tell you. Like you're always so excited to, to hear them telling you like what had happened to them or for the day or anything. I feel like they miss just you know, being able to tell to you and have that reaction and watch that reaction because usually I feel like, Virgo, your reaction is very supportive, okay? Eight of Cups, so again, you may have walked away from this person. The high priestess here in verse, now they're scared. There are a couple of cards that indicates like some sort of paranoia, fear, to be doing this on their own without you in the picture, okay? Because you're not, the, you're the queen of pentacles and it's now in one first. So they're afraid to take actions towards something here that perhaps you would have given uh, a very important insight or guidance to this person. They feel lost, going through a very challenging time right now. Maybe you, they, they, they were used to you being there during their challenging times. I think I already said that, but you were definitely their crutch, right? Holding a crutch right here. Hmm. They miss your analytical mind. How you always can help them solve any problems with three pentacles, yeah. I'm going to pull out some of these romance angels. Let's see more. Virgo. Who is missing Virgo right now? Reconciliation. So this is someone most likely you're separated from. This person wants to reconcile. Express your love. So this person does love you, care about you, or if some of you still do care about them or love them, romantic feelings. So this could be the person, one person you still have romantic feelings for or that they may still have romantic feelings for you, obviously, because they miss you. And then we've got the chemistry right here. So I do sense Virgo, you and this person do have very strong chemistry towards each other at one point in time, but something has happened. But I feel, I, I just feel like, yeah, with the Nine of Wands right here too, perhaps this person has hurt you. Maybe there's someone that you feel very guarded. Someone who makes you feel really guarded. And we've got Honeymoon and Children. So yeah, either this person is younger than you are or that they may have acted very just childishly or immaturely, okay? Oh, this honeymoon yeah they could be missing the honeymoon period of your connection with this person when when things were great right or some of you you literally could have traveled together or planned to travel together they could be missing traveling with you calling in your soulmate so this person sees you as their soulmate okay they could be missing you because you are their soulmate Hmm, let's pull out some of these truth oracles. Let's see more. This one wants to come out. I 
I wish I could share my good news with you. See, I knew it. I knew it. Remember when I told, when I said about the Ace of Wands right here and the Magician, and also the Queen of Cups. These three cards made me feel like um, that this person misses sharing good news with you, telling you things, and and you always get so excited. It's like your feedback, the way the way you react to any sorts of good news big or small even if it's bad news okay if it's bad news you are always there to support them help them figure things out fix things but if it's good news you're always happy for them and you're always pushing them supporting them so they miss that we will be together again so they miss this person misses you and them together when both of you were together in the past but i do sense them wanting to reconcile because there are two cards here that indicates reconcile uh reconciliation so this person could be missing you a lot but also at the same time thinking about reconciling with you i know i messed up everything so this person may have messed things up either they were childish or deceptive or just were not committed somebody who is not stable okay or couldn't give you stability i want to tell you how i feel so virgo this person is very used to telling you how they feel everything so you pretty sure you know who this person is if you do know who this person is um comment in the box below let me know okay but I definitely see that. I want to tell you how I feel. So there's someone they always, this person tells you everything, okay? <laughs> Every li little single thing. And they miss just you sitting there listening to them or standing there listening to them intently. And you look at like with, it feels like Virgo, you wouldn't ignore this person. Some Sometimes um, in any sorts of partnerships, friendship, whatever, uh, romantic partnership sometimes one person is talking the other person is like zoning out somewhere else right i have a friend who does that and she all, all she only wants to she only wanted to talk about herself <laughs> but when it's my turn to say something and she she zones out right and anyway she's no longer my friend i cut her off i wish things could be different so yeah so this is somebody i think let me have some regrets, okay? I lost myself for a little while. So this person is lost. I already said that word lost like so many times. They are lost without you because you were always there. You were the biggest, biggest, biggest supporter and you are a big influence in your life. And look, the emperor right here makes me feel like you help them feel, you help them feel powerful. You help them feel like you help them. You help um, ground them as well, because the boots here they are very heavy. So you help them ground. And I wish I could share my good news with you. We've already seen this one, but I want to see just two more. I replay our conversations over and over again. So something may have been said here in the past that I feel that may have resulted in something a separation or misunderstanding um or if both of you are taking a break right now but see conversation so you and this person would talk a lot we'll have a lot i mean both of you had a lot of conversations throughout your connection okay a lot of conversations a lot of talking either they talk a lot or you talk a lot or both of you just bounce off of each other it feels like see three of pentacles it feels like it's it's equal right they say something you say something and possibly could be bouncing off of ideas as well because three of pentacles can indicate work in work in progress right so you 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 help them work things out and i think 
now that they feel so lost and you're not in their life, this is that part where when I said that, they may have said um, that they may have asked themselves, what would you have done if you were to be in their predicament, right? Whatever they could be going through right now. Could be related to money again or career, some life situation that I'm seeing here. But I definitely don't see them doing too well. It could be emotionally, mentally. Last card, I can't stop thinking about you. So this person does miss you a lot, right? It feels like Virgo is like losing like one arm. Can't quite function efficiently with just one, right? That's definitely what I'm seeing here. But anyway, Virgo, thank you so much for watching. This is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channels. Um, Chelsea Vlogs is my travel channel and also my main tarot channel which is called Chelsea Love Tarot if you didn't come from there. If you're new, uh, I do have my main channel where I do 12 collective readings. 12, well, earth, water, fire, um, air. Uh, almost every day, almost every day or every other day, okay? And also, I go live on that channel. And during live stream, I would usually do all, all 12 individual sign readings, followed by um, answering super chat questions. Basically, just send me super chat, and I'll answer your question with the tarot, of course, um, right on the spot during the live stream. All right. Virgo, take care. I love you guys. And I hope to see you back here again um, very, very soon.